Hello everyone, uh, we're just having another look around the caravan place as usually do. <laughs> as you know we've been not looking to upgrade but we but we put a video on the other week of us having a look around at some possible caravans that would be a, an, a, an, 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 an upgrade. I'm not, not upgrade but maybe fit our criteria now that we've had the caravan for a while and we know what we're looking for. And we've fa we're, we're now in one of the new Discovery D44 which we saw at the NEC which is another video and uh, We've come to the conclusion that we really like it, don't we? Really we really like it. There's yeah. this one problem. What's the problem? Oh, blue. It's blue. It's blue. You can't be doing that. <laughs> yeah. But we'll uh, we'll give a little tour around and see. Watch this face. The first thing that struck us was just it just feels quite spacious. Um, so having a look here, we've got the cupboards which are really great, um, and they're lockable here as well. No um, handles. No handles, which is brilliant <laughs> for clumsy me. Um, has quite a few of these. Um, it's got the the lights in the corners as well, which is really handy, and it does all have this sort of fly screen that pulls down. But the added advantage that it has. Um, coming up from this side as well, it's got the shutter here, so you could have half and half. We can't, we can't do that on our Explorer. No, we can't do that, and it just locks into place here, which is really handy. Um, it does have a, like a blue colourway here, um, and the change from the previous model is that it was a dark grey seat with the yellow piping. This blue I don't like as much, I've got to be honest. It doesn't really go with our branding, does it? <laughs> but I'm sure that's changeable so I can get out my sewing, sewing kit. So tucked down here, it does feel quite spacious again. And this unit has gone from here, from the previous one. So um, it's just got some little cubby holes here that are really useful and quite deep actually because it's put things in. Um, and it's just got a little shelf here which is usable and a little shelf here. Cubby hole on the other side. It doesn't have the windows here. And um, we're not used to having one of these sorts of windows that curves upwards being quite slim um the other the other baileys have the phoenixes have the big window but the two little ones either side two either sides haven't they and i think that does let a lot, let a lot of light but in. there is a big but skylight above our heads which is letting a lot of light in which there is, is it and still these, feels light doesn't it these windows are quite light as well i mean i have even closed this blind here haven't i but they're still quite still quite light here so the kitchen is quite compact it's what we're used to um it's got the three Three ring burner hob for the gas. Um, would really have liked, obviously, um, electric, but hey ho. <laughs> Let's <turn. laughs> um, It's also got the grill and oven combined in there, which is nice, and a really nice usable um, locker just underneath for storage. You notice the storage is pretty big on these ones. Um, at the top of where, again, these open up a little bit differently to how you'd expect, but they're really easy to grab things from, and they've got the shelves as well, which is really handy. Um, for smaller units. Sink is nice and then you've still got the two plugs here which is really useful. Um, probably even could get maybe some shelves on there but you can, there is a bit of workable space here for you to put something on here and here. Um, oh, it's weird great. where Esther sat. It doesn't have a little flat, flat that you could come up there. It doesn't does it? But you do have, depends on where you put your TV. You could use that as a, as a work surface part of the kitchen. You could use this, I guess you could. Yeah. And you've got a standard fridge that we have in our caravan. And it does there, so. have even a drawer here as well. Yeah, that's quite handy. Definitely a lot more storage than what we're used to. Yeah, so that is useful. So coming into the bedroom area, we're not quite used to having this sort of French bed layout, but one of our criteria was that we wanted at least one bed being fixed, which this definitely has. And we've done the test um, we've, we've laid on it and you can successfully get out across without having to go over another person which is great um, and it's it fits us we're only short and it definitely fits us in um, in this, this sleeping mode that it's in at the moment it has got USBs on these lights here as well which one is, of them one of them weird, the one on the right <laughs> the one you've got yeah, yeah. has got the USB the one that doesn't have that, wait, which is weird I thought they both have one yeah and but they do have these quite handy shelves so if you you know, you plug in your mobile phone at night, you can put, plug it in there and just leave it on a shelf, um, which is handy. Um, storage again as well, as you can see here, still adequate storage all the way at the top of both units. They've got the corner units, 
just around the side of this unit it's got some shelves as well and underneath this bed it has got a really wide area that you could put stuff in and it's accessible from outside with the locker so that's really useful especially if you've got your running up and then behind you the table is stored so, away there which yeah. is one of the problems we have without if you watch our video about the explore it is because this is really easy to access you just flick these and you just access the table and it's really easy to put back whereas ours it's actually on the back wall of our cupboard area which is just really difficult to get to especially if you've got your clothes in there so it's virtually impossible the other thing that i did notice this is actually the main wardrobe that you've got in this area and it's sort of the whole length of the caravan um, which is really handy and it's got some little lights above it as well here so I'll just open it up for you you can see it's got the rail at the top but it is quite a generous space here it has two shelves as well um, and the bottom although it's got some pipes is still accessible to put maybe some games in or something Could put, I mean, we were thinking of we, want, we really want to have a, like a shoe locker because one of the worst things is all the shoes piled up by the front door and we could possibly use one of these at a pinch to put your, your, your footwear in rather than tripping over them in the doorway Right, so another requirement that we had on our little list was having a separate shower in the bathroom. We do normally use the facilities, but especially if we're going off grid, we really wanted to have our separate shower. And this definitely fulfills that criteria. It's got a lovely shower head as well here. Um, it just hangs up on this wall here. Um, and it's, it's really easy to use because you've got that door that comes straight across here and you can still get in. There's a reasonable amount of space with the toilet there that you don't have your legs, it will be impeded. You can access the sink quite easily here as well. And it's got your shower. It's also got tons of storage. Look how much storage it's got here. Absolutely fantastic. And underneath there, it's even got storage there. of our criteria it's much more spacious it's got one of fixed bed and it's also um, within our towing range and has a separate shower and um, so all in all um, we'll just have to see if we can get maybe a dealer special at the October show because we really like a solar panel so we can go off grid as well yeah definitely want to add to the list we're always, we're always going to keep looking and we are limited to what we can get but uh, I think this is definitely up there on the list yep. so anyway most importantly what do you think of it um, I think it's very, very spacious because in our caravan it's really, really small and dinky and um, at some parts when everyone's in there it's really claustrophobic whereas this has lots and lots of space but as you said I don't like it that much because of the colour and I know we might, we could change it but the blue, we might have to change all the brands in there and everything and then we just get, yeah. 